Okay, people. This video will be soft spoken, rambling, and fizzy drink. Coconut water. really stinging you drink a pop too fast it's the same thing but this isn't pop it's it's coconut water it's carbonated though Arginine supplements um, they use in pre-workout citrulline is more effective because it converts to arginine in your body but if you consume arginine directly it's um, I don't know what happens but it's not as as effective it doesn't metabolize as um, as well it doesn't break down in the body something bottlenecks in it it only takes in like half of what you do but citrulline it converts naturally in your body and you get more arginine that way at least that's the um dumbed down version that i think is right but i don't i don't fully know but i do know it tastes good and it um does help in the gym So, people, 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 I had a uh, razor blade in my tire I had to pull up today. It was crazy. I was driving home from the gym and I, uh, it was maybe five minutes from home when I 
cart was kind of going on to one side a bit because the tire was flat. So at first I thought that it would be just like a rock stuck in the tread. But after a while it got louder and then the car sunk a bit more. So I'm like, okay, it's obviously flat. But I was so close to my, my place at that time. Like literally like just down the road two minute drive not even so I slowed down put the hazards on and I just made it to my parking parking spot at my at my place and um the whole fucking sideline of the tire was melting and it was smoking it was probably if I did that in the summer it would have probably melted off the rim um it got bad pretty fast but anyways I pulled the tire off I know how to change a tire that's pretty cool. Look at me, look at me, adult, adult man. Um, so I did that, tossed it in the back, put the spare on, called the, the appointment, got it changed. Got two new, new winter tires, got everything rotated. Um, wasn't too much money. Um, everything was fine. Um, I think I drove over a box cutter. That's the most reasonable explanation. I don't think anyone would have did it on purpose, but you never know because there is some pretty crazy people. <laughs> um, when I was at the gym um, a couple days ago, um, I got followed into the change room by one of the staff members kind of like um how I don't know if you ever seen those movies from the 90s when like the shopkeeper follows around a kid thinking they're shoplifting well I guess the the guy thought I was homeless or something he was fucking crazy um I live in a well I don't live in a rich place but the gym's in a, in a, in a richer area so there's a lot of Karens you know People are fucking weird, man.
So other than the pump tire, there are some other shit too. That what happened this week, but my memory is so fucked. I've been taking Lion's Mane, trying to make my memory not fucked. Doesn't really work much, I don't think. I think taking a mushroom herbal supplement for a few weeks isn't going starting at the age of 13, but I think the best thing is that I don't drink anymore, so that's probably undoing some of the damage slowly, although it's too little too late because I'm sitting around whispering to myself, Celsius, I don't know what that is, and Fahrenheit, you obviously would need a lot of liquids, you need shade, you need sunscreen, you'd need to take breaks in the shade a lot, but maybe go in the water, things like that, but I like that kind of heat, actually, I like that heat that's so fucking dry that it just fucking, I don't know, it mis- massages your skin. It feels like a massage. There's something about it that's nice. But you can't stay out too long. You can only do like 20 minutes at a time and then you need to, you need to jump into some cold water or something. I did a cold plunge this winter. You can check that just hovering right above zero, it was almost frozen over. I think the only reason why it wasn't frozen over is because it was 
Sí, sí.